Well, after an awesome spaghetti dinner, uh, a night of fighting mosquitoes, and uh, pretty good sleep, uh, we slept in today, so we're getting a late start, but uh, it's a crappy, miserable day, so we're, I don't know, we're about probably two hours out of Jasper, hour and a half out of Jasper, so hopefully it clears up, because I've never been to Jasper, and I'd like to see some of the views. Um, I don't know what else, that's it be a short drive today we'll just yeah we're not gonna put on where we made last three days I mean we put on a lot of kilometers so we are gonna slow down now we're getting close to where we need to be for the next little bit through Alberta on our way to Saskatchewan um, I think there's more campsites down this way so we're gonna drive through this campsite and see exactly what's here and then hit the highway and uh, I'm, I need a coffee today I think we're gonna stop for a coffee today. That means we get a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Maybe hopefully there's a bakery, with some ham and cheese croissants. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we're out of here. Yeah, this is a lot more sites down here than I thought. One way road, keep right. Oh, this is actually a pretty big site. Oh, there's even people down here we didn't even know about. That. That's funny. These are right in the trees. Yeah, because we read uh, we read on I Overlander that there's about 20 sites, and we pulled in. I go, oh, those liars! There's nobody can here. But I guess you got to open your eyes and look around to see what's really available. Oh, well, they got a shower tent and everything. They're just like they're fancy. But we well, have a shower tent too. Yeah, but we've never used it. No, because we're exhibitionists. We like to shower. We're usually alone. So. Yeah, we're usually alone. But actually, this is a decent, decent campsite. I can't believe being uh, so close to being so close to Jasper that this place isn't uh, completely packed because they're nice private sites, each one, and it's free. I mean, you get closer, you get to a provincial park. I think you're paying twenty five bucks a night now, and I can't imagine what the private uh, campgrounds are charging. I mean, nice lake here. The, uh, there's couple who were kayaking and fishing out there they didn't catch anything but it's a nice nice little lake so do you know what it's called La Salle La Salle La Salle where are we I gotta find myself on the map here yeah La Salle La Salle lakes there's I guess there's two in this area but only the one has the uh, campground on it here so Anyway, we'll make our way up back up to the highway. I think we're, we're probably about, I don't know, half a kilometer off the highway, maybe a kilometer down this dirt road, and uh, head up there and find, uh, find a coffee. As you can see, not really a nice day, but as we were just talking, it's better than smoke and fire, and the province really needs some uh, rain to help with the forest fires, so we're not complaining too much. Yes, entering the fine community of McBride, gateway to the ancient forest is their theme. So we'll see how good Kristen is at navigating small towns to find us the best place to get a coffee and uh, oh, breakfast till closing. I know what she's up to. <laughs> smells smells good in here. Well, that was a well worth stop. That was great food, great coffee, nice uh, staff. Uh, leaving McBride, heading towards Jasper. Here we go. And it looks like it's still overcast, but the low lying clouds are uh, lifting. So we can see some of the mountains here, hopefully. Just at the junction to head toward, keep heading east to Jasper. So I think we're about a hundred kilometers out and uh, hopefully the sky lifts a little more. It's right on the cusp of being good or bad. So when I say coastal mountains and the ocean are my favorite, sometimes I forget about the Rocky Mountains and how wonderful they are.
I don't know what it is, but something every time I drive into the mountains, I get this happy, happy feeling in my gut and my face, and I can't stop smiling. I just love it so much. So here we go. Here's witness. This asshole is speeding up now. We are doing under 100k. We hit the straight. We're doing 120 now. And this and this guy can't get by. I've never seen anything like it. Wowzers. Wow is all I can say. We just officially crossed, crossed into Alberta. So that's BC twice, Yukon, Northwest Territories, Alaska, and now Alberta. We get around. Well, Jasper's way too busy for us, so uh, we're gonna get out of here right now. Best thing uh, about our rig is it's really easy to find when you park. But like I say, Jasper, nice, just like Banff, small, but super busy, surrounded by beautiful mountains, but uh, we got to keep going. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so we'll do a loop around. We got to turn around, so we'll go back through town, give you a little, show you what Jasper's kind of all about. Is another one coming? Yeah. Lots of crosswalks, you gotta uh, be careful. Careful not to hit pedestrians. Kinda crappy to see fast food chains here in a place like this. Yeah, I walked down the uh, main street there, it's the only beer store we could find. And uh, of that many people man we definitely have become hermits <laughs> living off grid camping being by ourselves most of the time like i almost had a panic attack standing in line way too many people look at them all look at them all so we're gonna leave jasper uh got a couple places we're thinking of camping tonight and uh go from there. Well, off to find a campsite for the night. Super windy, but uh, whole family of goats down here. Super cool, right on. And another family right here, awesomeness.
muddy, so that's good. <laughs> bunch of sand dunes not far from here too far for us to walk but met a couple of motorbike guys and uh, they go down there with their paddle tires and uh, go dirt biking 